So guys, welcome to the channel. We are done hibernating. I think the snow is done and we're out and about making videos again. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, my name is Charles Wallers. This is Wallers Photography, and this is Bambi, but she is not done hibernating yet. I know there's a lot of people that watch me just because Bambi's here. There, how's that? Anyway, uh, I've been having some issues with my microphones. They Sometimes it works, sometimes they don't. So, my friends at Hoem sent me these. These are the Hoem Mic 01. They look awesome, they're very well made. They're a little case, a charging case. They're magnetic and you can even put a memory card in here and store your audio separately. They seem awesome. Now, there's a problem though. These microphones are for phone creators. I don't like to use my phone. <laughs> so after a while, I was like, wait, is there a way that I could use these on my camera? I think I can, let's see. Now, before we get started, I realized that I've been, I, I've had this unfair advantage for quite a while and I've never used it. I've got these beautiful looking gimbals from Hoem and now a microphone, I can take stock photos. That's why I'm wearing a shirt with no logos, with anything, and I can make some photos that and use this to my advantage. So I came out to a beautiful place, pretend I'm a content creator, I'm gonna get some images, I'm gonna use Bambi as free likes because who doesn't like a little chubby chihuahua? And hopefully we can make some photos that sell. All right guys, so this is the Hoem microphone on my camera. <laughs> now Hoem made this in two versions. One that's for iPhones using the traditional iPhone connector. Newer iPhones have the USB-C and so does pretty much any other phone in the market. So they have two versions of this because I have an iPhone 11, which is right here. I'm not really into phones. This one works perfectly with the device up there. Now, to be able to use it on my camera, to power the device, I had to go out and get my iPhone SE. <laughs> and now I can use this on my camera. It's not the best thing out there. It's not the most user-friendly. I'll show you my setup here in a minute, but it works and I can use it this way. Um, I just want to, you know, kind of show you what it can do and how it does it. It has a special feature here where if I double cook it, can you hear my voice now? Well, let's go take some photos. Alright, so whenever you're doing photos, remember to bring a couple of different shirts, something to make it, give a little variety. This will help buyers, maybe the wrong color doesn't go with their project, so by having two simple shirts, no logos, no nothing, that should help you a little bit when it comes to making photos. Let me flip that. Now, let me go back to this microphone because that's the point of making the video. It comes in this little box, it's really cool looking. And this is the case, charging case. When you open it up, it looks really cool. It's got the two microphones and one transmitter. Now, I have an iPhone 11, it's an older phone, so this one comes with the iPhone uh, plug-in thing. I've, modern iPhones like the 15 have USB-Cs. I recommend getting that one. It gives you a little bit more flexibility and if you have the MT2 gimbal, you can use it on your camera. Why? Because this gimbal has a power plug-in here for USB-C. So you could plug in your, your thing here. Let me go get my camera. All right, I'm back. You could plug in your transmitter right here and I'll demonstrate it here in a second. Put your the smaller camera on the gimbal and now with the accessory like this, a three and a half millimeter jack, you can plug that into your camera. Now you have audio that's powered through the gimbal onto your camera. I don't know why Hoem didn't do a battery pack on this. It would have been great. I would use it on my camera all the time. 
right now having to put my phone on top of the camera to power this to power the mics seems like a little uh, i don't know it's a little difficult if this gimbal was able to hold my camera then that would be a great option but again this is a little small for the r5 with the big lens with the 24 to 70. so for a smaller camera setup this is great if you're using a phone this is the m6 great gimbal great phone gimbal and having a, a microphone like this will take you to the next level you can use these as remotes i mean they're, they're really cool microphones it even has a little uh, dead cat thing it comes with two of these little fuzzy things so that you can muffle uh, noise oh and did i mention that you have a memory card in here you could put in a little micro sd card and record the audio separately i mean they thought of almost everything the only thing they did not think of or somehow didn't use it was power on the device so that you could use this on a bigger camera the battery in these guys last like seven or eight hours so you don't have to worry about filming all day the magnetic thing to put it on your shirt anyway let's go take some pictures i know i have natural light it's very strong light you can see the highlights if i use the light behind me that should be fine and then i'll fill in the blanks with uh, a speed light and a diffuser so i'll show you that when i get it set up All right, so now I'm using my phone to film with the microphone hooked up to the thing over there. I got a remote control to take pictures and I'm going to be using this gimbal now as a prop. It says balance error and they went to sleep. All right, so I got a flash. I got a softbox to diffuse the light. I also got my remote. Now I can flip this screen on my camera and see what I'm doing. So I'm going to zoom in. I want a blurred background. That was a mistake. I hit the button. I was at F4. I can pretend I'm vlogging here. Let me switch it this way. If I put the camera close to the, the light's not gonna be on me, so I'm gonna move back here a little bit. If I use the camera, the gimbal, like this, so you can see that it's a camera, you can see what it is. That will give me focus, there we go, and blur any logos on the gimbal or the camera. So there we have it. I hope this photo sell. I had a good time making them. <laughs> All, All right, right now, now we got, got both microphones, microphones side, side by side. side. It's noisy here because I got a waterfall. Now I'm using the Hoem on noise reduction level one. This will be noise reduction level two, which I think eliminates a lot more of the noise, but I don't like how it distorts my voice a little bit. Now here we are with no noise reduction. So you can see side by side, both of these microphones and see how they perform. Uh, let me zoom in a little more because I'm too far away. Okay, I hope I got some good sellers. I think I had a good time making photos. Bambi's a little bit bored. <laughs> so I gotta go home and feed her. So if anything, I hope you got out of this video that you can use anything that you already own to make stock photos. You could use a hammer, you could use a wrench, you could use a kitchen spatula, anything to fit your lifestyle, you can use that to make stock photos. So I'll let you know in the comments how these photos do. Thank you very much for watching. Right, right. Let's go to the effects here. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.